Welcome everyone, it is Oliver. Thank you so much for coming in and watching another episode of Seven Days to Die. Last episode we found a new base. We started making it home and just wanted to, you know, have a better place. It's a little bit more protected uh, with the cobblestone base and whatnot. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, it is almost morning time. So we got a little bit of time left. We're just kind of chilling here we did get uh some some new armor which is good um right now we don't really have anything that we really want to focus on the hunting rifle is good we're not going to use it we're going to probably just save it for um the night of whatever i don't really like being this low on health Let's see if we can eat something oh wow we can eat, actually eat a lot so this is good it's actually helping our our wellness 1.35 that's actually really good so if you guys can pick up some meat make some bacon and eggs if that is killer as you can see i'm already healing up the best way to do that is eat it let it finish healing your person and then um call it a night so all right with that let's go ahead and go outside we'll do some resource resource collecting um get some trees and whatnot um <laughs> we came out here um, on the seventh day, uh, or not seventh day, on, now I want to show you this pickaxe that we got. Look at that. Bam. Look how many more resources we're getting. It's done in just a couple hits. But, check out my stamina. Oh my gosh. That's, okay, we're going to go back up there. <laughs> we can't have that. We're going to just go ham. Ham on, uh. On the beer, we're gonna probably get a little drunk here, so uh, be careful. Now the coffee does decrease your hydration, but it increases your stamina. So we're gonna kind of play around with that, and I'll show you how that works. So take this out, and it will heat us up. So we're down to one, and we're still doing some major damage and collecting. Now we're gonna go boom. Check this out. Bam, 100% and we're getting warmer. Now, the nice thing about this is it will decrease our degradation on our stamina while we're doing this collect. 74, did you see that? 74 gunpowder. And you're wondering, Oliver, there's, there's plenty of rocks right there. I know, I know. I wanna get these because it has your iron ore and it has other materials. So this is moving up my stamina, but not by much. But I was able to take out this whole thing. This whole thing with one stamina bar, which before I think it was de uh, degrading to the point where I couldn't do that. But, you know, I'm getting some good resources here this way. Um, this should be coal. Yeah. No, What? It, what is that? So this is new. I've actually never tried or seen this before. It's oil shale. Oil shale can be found in the desert and craft <laughs> the desert. I'm sorry, but this is no desert. Drop a like if you agree that this is no desert. Oh my gosh, it's so stupid. But if you can get gas out of it, that's great. Um, I don't really need it though. So I'm gonna leave after this stroke. Uh, sorry, break that one. Where was it? Well, I, I guess we'll just finish it off. I do want to get some of that snow, though, so we can make some water. Um, drink. Now, I probably should not be focusing so much on, um, there we go, cool. I probably should be growing my food or some of my resources that I'm collecting, like the, the coffee and whatnot, so I have more. If you till the earth, you get uh, one for two. So every one you put down, you get two. If you, um, 
do this. I think if you do both, not only get, do you get a spike, but it stops the degradation as much. I mean, look how much faster it's moving up. Perfect. All right. Our next thing is workbench, so we need more points in that. Let's keep going. I know, guys. This is so invigorating. Um, how about this? We'll, we'll go. Put, we'll go turn on the forge. Start melting down some resources. We still need clay, so we might journey to the the trader and hopefully find some clay along the way. And we'll just go ham on the clay. Look how quick. Uh, I took that up. Hello, good sir. Uh, good sir. Hold still, thank you. And goodbye. Good, got some water. Yeah, let's do that. The only negative is when we walk away from this place, no, it'll be hard, but <laughs> no, and we, we, I don't know if I actually have enough wood. I don't really have, uh, 10 minutes actually, that should be pretty good. I might put some coal in there too. No, I really want to save the coal. All right, so we'll go ahead and start cooking that up. Um, we do need wood though. All right, let's go, let's go get some wood real quick because we need to craft up some more arrows. So that's what he did here last night, which it's not part of our foundation. He didn't get in, so that's good. But that's what happened la late last night with that lumberjack on the last episode. So just imagine if that was wood, if he was hitting on that, how much faster he would get through. I mean, it would be no bueno. Cause I really, 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 really need better tools. Now, once I get up to the iron and I'm able to make forged iron, that is when I can get better tools. I can't get better than that steel pickaxe right now. Like, that was, that is phenomenal. Like that's day 10, day 15 stuff. Like that is good stuff. Because the steel is kind of more your end game, like top level um, material that is very helpful for later resource gathering. It's so much faster than you know what I'm currently doing. They have a, a steel fire axe, um, which is helpful. You can do a, a normal forge style. I think it's a fire axe. Yeah, they're both fire axes, but um, you know they're not quite quite the same. And steel is, you have to unlock and get a crucible. Um, so it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, perfect. We got a fair amount. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head out to the traders. We're gonna grab some stuff that we might wanna sell. Um, see if we can get some clay on the way. Um, all right, so let's clap, crap up some more arrows. Perfect. So we used up all those arrows, so that's good. I mean, look at that house, man. Not only is it, you know, better reinforced, because I'm, here, we'll, we'll test this out. I'm curious, like, what the durability is on these. So the other blocks are, are wood, so they got 200, 500. So you got an extra 200 durability on those items out there. So a lot more protected um, than what we've got rolling for us currently. Oh, I forgot, let's go get some snow. Because we would like some snow, man. And with the shovel, we're correct, collecting so much more and it's only two hits. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna get like 50 or 100. It's just so disgusting just to think we're gonna melt this down for water. I don't know about you, but that just doesn't sound appealing to me, but. I guess, you know, we're, we're really good at collecting resources where we just, I 
I don't know, we're just not gonna have issues with uh, dirt and stuff, so we, we're just so good at it. All right, so that gives us 171. Nice. You, sir, you're on my lawn, I'm sorry. You just, no, you just can't be there. So turning on the forge does encourage screamers. Um, so just keep that in mind, because screamers are no joke. No joke, man. Um, so see how that's turning into regular iron, which is good. But we can't create an anvil yet because we need clay. And we can't craft anything until we get an anvil. So let's say you want to do some arrowheads. Um, you can't do it yet. Iron arrowheads. You need an anvil and you need clay. Um, I'm gonna put this in here real quick. Let that melt. In. Okay, cool. So one to five. That's pretty good. All right. So let's put Max on the water. Cause that is a lot of water. Bottled water, snowballs, and we need 520. I'll do. I'll do pig. I'll do. That in there. The oil shell up top. And I'm gonna bring the beer with me. I don't really need this extra water for now. And we don't have anything we can cook it up with. We're gonna keep one splint on us. I don't really need the torch. The coffee will stay for another time. But uh, what are we gonna sell? So the paint we're gonna hold on to. We can obviously take this, we'll go ahead and take that. The oil, I'm gonna get more later. I'm gonna sell that. The dynamite, I don't need. Um, I can create it later. Um, this shotgun receiver, where you're this early in the game, once you get the recipe, you're gonna need it. So hold on to that. Um, hunting rifle parts, we're gonna hit, keep a hold of that. Plastics, we're gonna keep. Duct tape, all this, I really think. I'm gonna take that because I don't really need it. Um, sell price five. Uh, yeah, we're gonna actually do that here because that doesn't, yeah. Oh, wow, we could sell that for a hundred bucks, man. Hmm. Well, we're going to take this real quick. So that's cooking, so by the time we get back, that'll be done. And hopefully no screamers are drawn here. Um, and then I'm going to melt this down real quick. One, two. 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 There we go. And then we're going to put in because we'll probably be like 10 minutes uh, this is probably gonna be iffy because of screamers and whatnot but I uh, I like to live on the edge my friend so I think we're probably gonna have to go for a swim as well we'll loot some items along the way If we find something better, we we might. Oh, no way! Nice. Oh, see, so we got more honey. We got more bullet shells, and check this out. We picked up some gnarly. I shouldn't say gnarly. <laughs> we picked up a cooking grill, which means we can, you know, grill meat and stuff. Which the grilled meat is actually not too bad. Um, it's it's all right. It could, I mean, it could be better. Oh, I was gonna do another bow. Oliver, you need to look down. There's gonna be a bad guy coming to you. Oh, it's okay, everyone. It's not a big deal. Look at that, 100, 100 bow. Oh, reload. After you uh, create a new item or whatnot, you have to reload it. <sighs> Headshots, man, for days. And good night, sweet prince. Coffee seeds, perfect. Ooh, what's down? That's just water. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go for a swim, which may not be the most enjoyable thing, because we'll get super cold. 
We don't have a lot of health, so if we can get some health packs, that'd be awesome. Thank you. <gasps> dear. Oh dear. Dear, come here. Come hither. Wow. It was a silent shot to the neck and it didn't cause me to die. That sucks. I know we need to go left more, but I need the meat. I need the meat. Dear, come back. My stamina's getting low. Yeah, slow down, slow down, son. And crouch. Oh, did someone hit me? No, but I'm about to. Stupid. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting so many arrows. Hold still. Okay, lift head up. And... Flip an A, dude. Got him. Oh! Well, we got double damage on him, which is good. But he's not going down. Go down, go down, go down. There's a bunny rabbit, too. You gonna be stuck in a rock and hard place? No! You're gonna keep running! Stop running! I can't do this all day! I need to go to the trader! Hold still. Bambi, come back. Gosh dang it. This is why you want to hunt with a stupid rifle. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's, let's look this way. Yeah, much better, yeah. Sorry about that view, guys. And done. All right, so, oh, that trader actually got a little bit closer for us. That's good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, so that, that gives us four. So we lose two if we scrap. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So we could put those together. I actually am gonna try one of these. Oh, no, 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 not, just kidding. I'd rather have the leather. But, let's head out this way. So there's a water hole there, that's nice. How many arrows do we have? 119, okay, we're still good. Now this is the very first uh, trader that we, we get in the game. All the other ones you have to find. Hopefully we can find some stuff along the way that we can sell. Like those uh, painkillers actually go for a high price. I, I must not use them to their full potential because I don't really think they're that valuable. But So like if you look on here, it'll tell you the sell price up or right. 32, that's not bad. That's pretty nice. We must be pretty close, because if we angle a different way... I sure hope he's not like the last trader in my other town. He's on the other side of water, and the other guy's in the mountain. It's... Oh! Oh! Look at this! This is actually good, guys. So this is an area where clay will be. Not right here, but this actually might be a good place to build a, a final base. Um, because it's really pretty. Yeah. Totally the only reason you should build a base is if it's a pretty area. 
I'm just kidding. Oh, good, it's not. So we could probably build right on the edge here and not be too far from a trader. I think that's what we'll do because we're close to the snow biome. Um, we're cro not too far from a town. And it might be a good, uh, good little spot. Yeah, so right here, that's all clay, guys. I'll show you. Okay, I won't show you. I will show you. That's all clay. Now you can't use, you know, you can't dig or uh, damage anything near the trader. So you gotta be careful on how close you get to a base. But um, the advantage is you can go to the trader whenever you want if it's really close. So we'll probably build out here. Um, so on the map here, it starts right there. So maybe we could build right on the edge or there's a road here. So maybe we'll head out that way and see what's here. But let's go ahead and mark this here save waypoint and we'll save it as trader one perfect and that wasn't too bad of a jaunt I mean I mean we're getting away from our original spot but eh whatever I really like this area well like I said we'll we'll come here we'll we'll settle here we'll raise a family we'll have some kids you know teach them baseball and Actually, we won't do that. <laughs> That's not in the game. But we'll still we'll still have fun. But as you see, there's disc there's different colors. Like this is a um, clay pit here, clay pit. But you've got everything here. You can start building your farm, everything. So that's awesome. But guess what? We're gonna have to come back. Um, <laughs> I know. We're gonna go and see what the trader's all about next episode so thank you so much for coming out guys once again my name's oliver i appreciate your time and i appreciate you watching on your way out uh be sure to hit a like if you're new to the channel and you want to help support grow the channel uh go ahead and subscribe and tell your friends about it thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one goodbye